Today I'm going to be showing you all the books, videos, and resources we use to help us make our curriculum on a budget. In my previous video, I made a list of five easy steps that may help you create your homeschool curriculum on a budget. So the first one I got is a vocabulary workshop book. I actually bought this off of eBay. It came with a set of other books, but this one had no writing in it. eBay has a lot of good finds, especially lots. And there's many books you can find that are barely used or with minimal damage. The next book is actually from Amazon, and this is Physics One for Dummies. This is a great book. It's kind of like a review. It's in the format of an easy to read textbook. And this is great if you're building a curriculum on a budget. The next book is, of course, the Barron's ACT English Reading and Writing Workbook. I showed this in our ACT prep video, but this is again a great resource to have. I have a lot of these captivating history books, and again, they range from anywhere from being nine to 13, sometimes even $14, but again, this is great books. If you want to have a specific time in history, um, I totally recommend purchasing these. Just, you know, choose a couple and you can have that be your history curriculum for the year. Amazon has a lot of great books. I used most of these for literature or our history, and these are great to have. Of course, choose the ones you like, but feel free to get whatever books you want to build your curriculum. These books, some of them were really cheap, $2, some of them were 8 some of them were 20 It's just choose what you like and you can build your curriculum around whatever topics you want, whatever you feel like is important to focus on. For some of our books, like for example, Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States has a lot of great quotes and important topics, at least topics I find important in history. And I like to go through and, for example, um, we use it for our memory verses, we do every Friday, and I find a little snippet from whatever book we're reading. But in this case it was the Colossus, which is on the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. And we use this and we memorized it and we just do a test at the end of the week. A great way to memorize a quote like this is to memorize it to the tune of your favorite song. We also get a lot of our memory verses from poetry. So we have this book, 100 Best Love Poems, we got on Amazon from Dover Thrift. It's about like $2. And I usually find either a snippet of a long poem or a very short poem, and I have that be the memory verse for the week. I usually use our poetry for literature, and I just write it on an index card, I grade it, and then I photocopy it, write some notes, and then I put it in our 180 day binders. For math, um, these are great books. Everything you need to ace geometry and everything you need to ace pre-algebra and algebra one. These are great books. I use this every day. They're very helpful. And at the end of each lesson, there's a couple questions. And then if you flip the page, the answers are right there. So it's really great to self-check. I love these books. Um, I also pair these up with a lot of videos. I'll have as many of the videos we use for each of our subjects linked in the description below. You can use a lot of chapter books to make your literature um, for each year. We use many, many, many books. And it's a great way to find all different types of topics, many different stories. And it's a great way, instead of just being stuck to one textbook that usually has a specific type of literature or poetry, you get to have an array of options to read. I feel like that's, again, very fun and engaging. If you don't know exactly what type of books to purchase, it's a great idea to go and look at your local schools and see what's on their book list and then choose a couple of the classics and then incorporate some of your favorite topics. We read a lot of historical books and biographies and there's a lot of words that are not familiar to us or we need to freshen up on and we highlight those with a pencil and 
we write them down on a note card and I have that be the spelling words for the week as you can see here the next book I got is an accounting quick start guide I got this off of Amazon it actually comes with a link to a website um, that has a lot of these free worksheets and it helps you get the basics of accounting which I feel is very important the next book I purchased is off of Amazon it is a Carson de la Losa biology book it's a workbook that has, I think, 100 pages and an answer key in the back. It is great if you pair it with some biology videos online and you can set up your whole lesson for the year. The next two workbooks I've purchased are Mark Twain, U.S. History, People and Events, and I got these off of Amazon. They have um, a story of history you read on one page and on the back of the page there is an assignment. Usually it's a review of what you just read. It's a great resource. Um, I totally recommend. I think it was about $15 or $16. It might be a little bit less now. I know that a lot of things are on sale on Amazon. Again, great thing to get for your history. Watch a couple videos with it and you have your whole lesson for the year. Another workbook from Mark Twain is the Understanding the U.S. Constitution which is a great book to have. Um, I totally recommend purchasing this. The next workbook is a personal finance workbook, and this is pretty much all you need. There's a lot of personal finance videos on YouTube out there. They're very educational, very helpful, and that it would be great to pair with these workbooks. Another book we have is Spanish Parallel Text. This was about $9, and it has Spanish on one side, English on the others, and this is great resource for your Spanish. I feel like a uh, easy grammar book is always great to have. This is an example of a grade 12 one, but this is again pretty affordable. It's about $30, but you'll have five minute lessons that last a whole year. It's great for grammar in your English course. Totally recommend purchasing this. It's always great to keep an eye out for history books that you find at your local garage sale, library book sales, or whatever, because sometimes you can find some great finds at an affordable price. This next book we got off of Amazon is a sociology book, and this is great. It's a great resource to have, and we use this as our main book for our sociology course. The next three books are fast track books. We have fast track US history, fast track biology and fast track world history these are great to have um, they have pretty much like the notes for each topic each course and i recommend using this as um, you can use this as your main book and you take notes the next two books are anatomy and physiology for dummies this is kind of like a textbook it's not a textbook but it's sort of similar to one it's like the notes from a textbook this is a more affordable option compared to the Understanding Anatomy and Physiology book that's from F.A. Davis. Um, that is a great book, but if you can't afford that or you want to have a cheaper book that you're just going to use for a little bit and you get rid of, this is the book for you. A great way to stay organized is to get these little notes. I got this from Dollar Tree with $1.25 and it's a great way to keep all your notes organized. Another way to keep your notes organized is by using this five-star book. Again, this is very similar to another journal I showed you in a previous video, where if you download the app, you can scan the pages and your notes will be on the app. So it's a great resource to have and only about six to seven dollars. We also got planners. Here's an example of one. This is a great way to stay organized. And it really helps when you're trying to make lesson plans or write down the work, have like a log of how much work was done that day or that week. Um, so it's always good to have a useful planner. It's very organized. I like how it breaks it down by week and gives you plenty of space to write notes. This was about, I think, $10 from Marshalls. Here's a list of a lot of YouTube channels that we used to assist us with our curriculum. And of course, this was just some of the channels. I'll have links to each of them in the descriptions below. Um, thank you for watching. Here is some of our resources that we use to help us with our curriculum on a budget.
Thank you for watching.